There are a fair number of ongoing studies that are attempting to understand the human aging process. Researchers typically use mice to understand what physiologically happens in the human body, in the brain and DNA as we age. Many studies aim to reverse aging as well, specifically in mice. When we think of reversing aging in the context of our cultural commentary, we typically tend to think of things like getting rid of wrinkles and wanting to look young with youthful skin and good energy and so on. But medically, scientists are trying to do things like restoring vision loss, restoring memory loss, reducing genetic damage, lowering susceptibility to age-related disease and things like that which are generally necessary to improve quality of life and health in aging individuals. Anti-aging research is in fact booming at the moment. Wealthy individuals are investing in various forms of anti-aging research increasingly in some way or the other and the impacts from these kind of research will be enormous. Positive findings have the potential to lead to a healthier aging population en masse. If things work out really well, this will get us on the path to eliminate several age-related and genetic diseases. A common side effect of aging is of course loss of memory and this has a very real impact on quality of life and cognition. To understand the aging process in brain and reverse it to potentially reduce memory loss, researchers from Stanford University used cerebrospinal fluid from young mice and infused it into older mice and after the experiment, their team has published some astounding results. Age-related cognitive decline affects a large number of senior citizens, those over the age of 60. Exercise and healthy food does help slow down the speed at which this occurs, but there is no treatment today that can reverse mental decline in individuals due to aging. This is of course quite unfortunate because older brains generally tend to be wiser brains with lots of experience. To figure out if aging can be reversed in the brain and the loss of memory also stopped, Researchers used cerebrospinal fluid from young mice and infused it into older mice. Cerebrospinal fluid or CSF is a clear fluid that is found inside the tissues that protect the brain and the spinal cord. It acts as a shock absorber for the brain and the spinal cord and also provides mechanical support. The brain actually floats in this fluid because if it didn't, gravity would be pulling it down on a hard surface and this would damage the neurons at the bottom. The fluid also regulates blood flow around the brain and to the brain by regulating pressure. It provides immunological support as well and it cleans the brain physically by flushing it as the brain expands and contracts a bit and pulsates with every heartbeat. The fluid itself is produced in the brain and reabsorbed by the cells in the region. Children have more cerebrospinal fluid than adults do, which is also why they tend to have fewer concussions and brain damage episodes after falls on their heads. The fluid also keeps and helps form neuron connections. When the researchers performed the experiment, they used CSF from young adult mice aged about 10 weeks into the brains and infused it into the brains of older mice aged about 18 months. The experiment was conducted over a period of seven days. The team immediately noticed that older mice suddenly displayed an improved ability to recall things from memory in tasks. The team then also used RNA sequencing to find out how treatment with cerebrospinal fluid changed gene expressions in the brain, mainly in the hippocampus region, which is the focus of all such anti-aging memory loss studies because it's the brain's main memory center. Any signs of cognitive decline show up prominently here. Upon studying the brains of older mice, the authors noticed that the neurons in the brains were structurally a bit different than they had been before. Neurons have three main parts, dendrites, axon and soma. Dendrites are where neurons receive inputs from other cells. The soma is the cell body where all the components and the machinery of the cell are housed. The axon is the output structure through which electrical signals are sent out. 
Central nervous system cells called oligodendrocytes produce a fatty protein called myelin which coats axons in a process called myelination. The team noticed that when the older mice were treated with younger cerebrospinal fluid, there was improved myelination which was associated with improved memory recall because it strengthened connections between neurons. With RNA analysis, the authors also narrowed down all the signaling molecules and growth factors that help the brain that are present in the fluid. They also identified genes and growth factors which turn off for memory with aging. Three weeks after the conclusion of the experiment, the authors noticed that there was an increase in myelin production in the brains of the older mice, suggesting that the aging process can actually be reversed in mice to an extent. Previous studies by some of the same scientists have actually shown that blood transfusion from younger mice to older mice can also help partially reverse the aging process, but with humans, the results of such studies have been unclear. In humans, transfusion of cerebrospinal fluid is not as easy as working with blood at all. In fact, it might not even be possible to infuse some from a younger person into an older person. The fluid is one of the most delicate things in the human body to work with because any messing up with the brain or spine is incredibly dangerous. Extracting the fluid needs a spinal tap or a lumbar puncture and there are a lot of ethical issues surrounding the amount and the quantity of fluid to be extracted and methodology and so on. The proteins that are responsible for small molecular processes can still be isolated and delivered as therapeutics probably in the future, but that process itself also takes a lot of time because the effects of such changes and genetic changes on other parts of the body and brain need to be understood over a period of time. For now, these results are confined to mice and while they can be theoretically extrapolated to humans, such experiments cannot be replicated in humans at the moment. This finding still is a major breakthrough and can lead to a host of other studies that follow in its path, attempting to understand the role of the cerebrospinal fluid, what it does to brain development and aging, and how some cognitive decline can be reversed specifically in mice. We are still a long, long way away before any of our thirst for anti-aging results can get quenched, whether these be for cosmetic reasons or for health reasons.